EMF, unbelievable. All right, let's play through all the different sections of the song right off the top here. Afterwards, we'll go back through, give you a little more explanation, some guidance if you need it. Please help out the channel, hit that subscription button. Coming out with tons of videos, you don't want to miss it. Be greatly appreciated. All right, let's get on into Unbelievable by EMF. <laughs> Okay, so this intro section here, this is also good for the, uh, you know, the last half of the second verse and the third verse, all right, the initial verse kind of rests and the first parts of the second, third verse are just a rest, but uh, it's a fun little pattern. We're just kind of boogieing around in this A flat area. Uh, start by doing this uh, bend release here, come onto the six of the G and the B there, you just want to give it a little bend, release it, and then come off to fours. And then land on that six of the D, and that'll lead us into our A flat uh, power chord. Okay, so four on the E with the uh, six on the A and the D. We just hit that and let it ring. Okay, and we do a couple little pickup notes into the next chord, uh, four G to six D. It kind of gets us into that shape there. The four on the A, six on the D and G for the D flat power chord there. Okay, let that hit that for a couple beats and then just bring it up two frets for the E flat power chord. Six on the A, eight on the D and G. All right, and then we'll just go right back to our A flat power chord at the fourth fret here. And with this, you kind of want to bar the whole four because we're going to hit these fours on the B and the E real quick. And that'll get us into this this little riff here that caps off, which is fun to play. Uh, slide up to three on the D, hit the four G, back to the three D. All right, and then take just what we did there and just do it two frets higher. Slide up to the five D, six G, back to five D. Okay, just a fun little way to cap off that uh, intro, second verse, third verse thing that we're doing here. <laughs> chorus section we're kind of hitting some offbeat chords to start with uh, kind of the same progression that we were doing you know the a flat d flat e flat um, but with this you kind of want to skip a beat all right and then we're just going to come in and hit these couple a flat power chords <laughs> just like that and then cut it we'll do a, a little bit of pickup notes into that d flat again okay we do the 6d and do a little bend on the 4g Okay, you can even pinch harmonic a little bit there too, it'll be fine. All right, and that'll get us to our D flat five. Same as the uh, intro section there. And then up two frets, just like the other section, to the E flat five, the sixth fret. All right, and then of course, we're gonna skip a beat again so that we come in with these A flats, just like we did at the start. All right. 
We'll do those pickup notes again, the 6D, 4G bend, but then we just come right back to that 6D, hit it, and then just rest. Okay, that's kind of where the unbelievable line comes in. Chorus section, kind of like the iconic riff of the song, you would suppose. Uh, we'll be here at the 6 on the D. All right, and now we're going to go between 4G, 6D a couple times. Okay, then we go to 5G a couple times. Get us to 6G a couple times. All right, then we go back to our 4G, 6D, 4G, 6D. Come up to 7D a couple times. And then right back to that 6D a couple times. And that'll kind of, for the first chorus, that'll kind of start the, the loop that we do for a couple times there. Uh, it switches up a little bit, just adds some rests in the following choruses. I'll show you that. But uh, let's just try this one up to speed here. So like I said, the last chorus, uh, everything stays the same. And we kind of act like we're going to go through the loop again after we do it once. Okay, we keep it just like we did. And at this point, like we start like we're going to do it again. But uh, once we hit that 5 on the G, we just kind of go 5G, 6G. And then just cut and rest. Because there's that unbelievable line that comes in again there. So... Uh, just a little kind of a rest inserted there. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just go through this a couple times. Okay, into the solo section. Get that wah-wah pedal going. Um, we're just going to initially stay in that same A flat section that we were just at. Uh, just kind of crank through some fourth frets on the G here while hitting that wah, you know, back and forth. Okay. And then we'll just give a bend on that four, go to 6D, and then just kind of go back and forth between the 4G, 6D, uh, you know, arbitrarily here. You know, get that wah pedal going with it. Then we'll do a bit of a scale up. We slide up 6D, 4G, 6G, slide that up to 8. Alright. Hit the 7B, go 7B, 9B to 7E. Once we get to that point, we're going to come over to the 9E, give it a bend and release, come off to 7. All right, go back and forth with the wah, of course. 9B, 7E. Come over to that 9B, bend it, release it. Uh, 9E, bend it, release it. Come off to 7 on the E, and then just uh, go back and forth between... 7E, 9B, uh, a few times there. Okay. So just kind of arbitrary wah pedal going on here. Um, boogieing around in the slow section, scaling up to a higher section. Next section, we're kind of just sticking on that 9 on the high E here. And we're just going to repeatedly just bend, release, bend, release, bend, release for a good while. Uh, keeping that wah pedal going along with it. Alright, now we'll come way high with this. We're going to go up to 16 on the high E. Uh, strum it a few times, and then we're going to go to 20 on the high E. And after we do that, we come off 
and then we'll go to 19B, bend it, come back to the 16E, 20E. Okay, so we're just repeating that pattern. All right, just booging around there. Uh, keep that going for a little while. All right, so uh, just some different sections here that, you know, are repeated. All right, after that section, we just drop back down low where we were. Uh, just do a couple of bends on the four, fourth fret of the B and G, and then hit that 6D. And we're going to repeat that a little bit about three times. Keeping that pedal going. And then just kind of cap it off with uh, 6 B and G to 4 B and G. And then just go between the 6D, 4 B and G, 6D. All right. Then we'd come up high with it. 14B, bend that, hit the 14E under it, and just repeat that for a few measures. Pedal bouncing around. And then repeat the first section with the bending fours on the B and G to 6D. All right, and then we would just cap this whole thing off with kind of that last little bit of the chorus. A couple sixes on the D, 4G, 6D, 4G, 6D, 5G, 6G. And then it's a rest. Song's done. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.